guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and more. So in today's video, I want to bring you an idea for a backdrop. So I was supposed to do this backdrop for a children's gala that had an Emerald City theme, but it ended up getting canceled due to the coronavirus. And now we don't know when it's gonna be able to be rescheduled because the event was at a university and they don't know when the universities are gonna be back up and running and so on and so forth. So what I wanted to do was make this video just to show you guys how to do the backdrop. So if you have an event that's coming up, maybe you can incorporate it into your event. And also, hint, hint, if you're looking for a unique theme, maybe you want to consider the Emerald City theme. All right, so let's get started. Actually, before we get started, I wanted to share something with you guys. So this week, I had tried to start recording this video, and it just seemed like nothing was going right like i was getting tongue tied i couldn't get through my intro it was like naturally it just wasn't coming to me as to what to say to you guys and then also you know once i got through what i feel like was a forced you know intro i tried to do decorations and tried to set up this backdrop but it just did not feel right to me right so what I did was I just took a step back. I literally deleted all my clips, all my videos. I took down the decoration and then I just started over. So I thought to myself, okay, what is missing? And what I figured out was that I was just trying to like force a video. Like I was like, okay, I'm going to record. I'm going to get this out there. I'm just going to push something through. And it just wasn't resonating with me. So I've been trying to put content out there that I feel like would be valuable to you guys, but also I'm putting stuff out there that I love. My advice for anyone who's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, just be passionate about the content that you are putting out there. Be, you know, do something that you love, share that idea. Now, people may not react to it in the way that you want them to, but at the end of the day, put something out there that you love. And if it's not coming to you, then don't force it. That's what I learned. So what I want to do is, you know, share my experience with you so that you can incorporate that in your journey. So you could either learn from a mistake I made or incorporate a tip that, you know, I'm going to give you. All right, guys. So the first step that we're going to do is put together our backdrop stand. Okay. After you put up your backdrop, you want to get your boxwood panels together. So I'll put the link for these in the description. Um, this is how they come. It comes 18 inches by 18 inches. And then what you just need to do is link these together. All right. So I'm going to get closer so you guys can see. There's a hole right here. So all you're doing, you know, with the holes. So I'm, let me show you like the whole side. All right. So this side has the holes, right? So what you want to do is connect it with the panel that has like, I'll call them like the little stakes on it, right? So you're literally just taking this, right? I'll do it this way so you guys can see. <laughs> so you guys can see. You're taking this and just putting it through this little hole, okay? And then that's how you keep connecting them. When you're done linking the boxwood panels together, you're just gonna wanna attach them to your backdrop stand, okay? So you're gonna be attaching them to this top hole. So I use zip ties and I have about six or seven here that I'm gonna be using to attach this boxwood panel or this box, boxwood backdrop to the backdrop stand, okay? So once you put these together, I just wanted to let you know, um, the panels can become a little bit heavy. So make sure that you have a helper on standby um, just in case you need help, someone holding the box with panels while you attach the zip ties. Okay.
guys with the backdrop. I love the way that it's looking so far. I love the different textures, right? The drapes with the back boxwood panel. It's looking really good. So what I'm gonna do now is add my finishing touches, right? Cause I wanna style this up some. And I have some wisteria here. So here's some hanging wisteria and I'm gonna attach this to the backdrop. So for the drapes, I'm gonna use like these floral foam boxes, which you'll see. And I've also put those in a previous video. So I'll put the link in the description for those. Um, but with the boxwood panels, I'm just gonna slip these in and then I'm gonna lock them in place by bending the ends. Now, if you have an outdoor event or if you have a professional event, I would not recommend that because you wanna make sure when you're decorating outdoors or for a client that the flowers are going to stay. So I would recommend using floral foam boxes um, for the boxwood panel as well. You can just put them along the top of your backdrop. Um, for my event, we were actually going to add um, a decal here. So the name of the organization was going to go here. And there, then there's also going to be some up lights in front of it because they want people to be able to come and take pictures um, and use this as a photo booth. So even though I was going to use this or I was hired to use this at an Emerald City themed event, you could also use this at a wedding. I can totally see this as a wedding backdrop. So what I'm gonna do now is put a table in front of it and do some decoration so that you can see how it could be incorporated into a wedding, all right? Like I feel like a princess, you know, in this setting. So I would have lit these candles and actually started to light these candles. But then I remember that my son is running around this house and the last thing I want is for him to knock over these candles. And then here comes the fire department at my house. All right, so if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.